Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy 12 where I am actually back in oh my gosh undead oh my gosh oh that doesn't look good anyway I am um actually back at my sister's place um hoping for the best here <laughs> uh, and Yes, so the recording is hopefully a little better than it was when I was recording out of my car. It turns out this game really is just too big, too too long, I guess, for me to record in the car. There's just a lot of downtime, and it's easier for me to record in the vehicle when it's something that has, like, you know, maybe 20 to 30 minute episodes, like, in it pretty succinctly, you know, like, boop, 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 or maybe aren't as big a game files, <laughs> you know? I need the smaller games. Um, to record in the car, but I'm back at my sister's for now, so we will see how this goes. I also, I don't know, I don't think I had it like this before, but I am at 60 frames per second now on this, and it's 1080p, so, I mean, you know, this game doesn't really need 1080 probably, but the 60 frames is nice, I think, so hopefully it all works out. But yeah, there's the quick update for that. I can't think of anything else. We're, right now, we're still trying to get through um, and sneak up on whatever it is that we're trying to sneak up on. <laughs> yeah, okay, yes. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I can't 100% remember exactly what we're doing. But I'm here for the ride. So, here we go. Oh, this is honestly gorgeous. I have, I was just gonna like go in, wander around, but what, we were in like this Oh yeah, because we're in like a cave system, and this is like the ruin, like part of a ruin. But like, we came in through caves first, and then we went into a ruin, and now we're like going back into the cave system again, and this is beautiful. And whatever these are, are awesome. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so I haven't cleared this room yet, but it's the pilgrim store. It says the door bears an inscription. Read the inscription. Wayfarer traveling the road to Arcades, the pilgrim's door holds not for you. Th that way lies trouble and confusion. You who are yet drawn towards the pilgrim's door, the heart of time, and the deeds you must accomplish share their place midst the falls. From the heart look north to heaven, from the heart step south to earth, walk in time's footfalls to open the way. Uh, I'm just going to try to open it. Yeah, okay. We have a... A puzzle to complete, apparently, for that door. Anyway, I'm intrigued. So there's a series of pathways, and that pilgrim's door leads to that empty space, which leads to whatever tiny room and area that is, but we've got a couple different routes to go. I'm just taking this one. Let's see where we go. <laughs> no idea where we're gonna go. I know where we're trying to go, but oh my gosh, this is so cool! This is so neat. This is such a gorgeous place. This game is so beautiful. Oh, those are friendly. Didn't the puzzle say something about the falls? Something, something, something falls. Oh, maybe we need to like turn the falls off so that we can walk over these pathway things. I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. Cause the heart is probably some somewhere. I don't know. Like the heart's the center. I don't know where the center would be. We have to follow the footprints of time or whatever. I don't know what that is either. bears a mysterious inscription. Wayfarer traveling the road to Arcades, the pilgrim store is not for you. Yeah. Journey heaven and earth in search of the heart and you will surely reach it. Okay, so we have to go to like these two different paths it looks like. And then, yeah, okay. okay. So these ruins hold something. And it would uh, hold 
clues, rather, to... different... Sorry, the, the ruins can apparently sometimes hold clues, or fragments of that... of that puzzle, or whatever you want to call it. Oh boy, I don't know what this is. This looks like a time guy. I, I came over here because this area, you can see in the top right, looks very ruin-esque, you know? It's got a very de like deliberate, like squared off, not very natural looking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe this is the heart room, or the time room, or something, I don't know. We'll see. The aesthetics door holds not for you. That way lies trouble and confusion. You who are yet drawn towards the aesthetics door in circles travel from land of sun's birth, stray but once another day must you return. I'm freaking... I don't know. Okay, that one opened. Door of Hours. Hold on. Okay, that the other one was an ancient door, but this is a door of hours. Ancient door. Door of hours. Is there something about following time? <laughs> these two um, uh, kitty corner ones. These uh, that one that I'm pointing at. And this one, our little door of ours. No, where are you going, man? Oh, there's like a, there's a mysterious archaeological type puzzle to solve. I'm Indiana Jones now. What is up with that thing's face? Oh, it's ice. Weird. I can't go back into the wall. Oh no. Oh. That one was different. That's not a name you're supposed to say out loud, though. It invites trouble and ill omen. Okay, this passage, like, loops back. I don't know about... Okay, the heart. I don't know. I don't know, mate. This is, this is cool. This is cool. I'm, I'm trying to kind of see if I can pick up all the pieces. Okay, it said walk from the heart, walk to the sky, and walk to the earth? I don't know if I'm just reading into this too much. There's so many doors. I mean, this seems like this is the way I... I should go. There's like a puzzle that I don't want to miss out on, but we'll see. Maybe this is like a boss. Yeah, it's probably like a boss that would be significantly easier if I completed whatever puzzle's going on. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, there, if this, if I'm right though, and there's a heaven and an earth route, then I do need to complete both of them. And this is what I think is the heaven route. Which that does kind of have a, you know, the, a look of a heavenly uh, sky-based being. We're gonna, we're gonna get absolutely wrecked, honestly. Okay, we're doing okay in the fight, I say, until something terrible happens. But I, I don't have any way to remove immobilize or doom, as far as I know. And so I've had to switch. <laughs> I had to switch. Um, what's her name here? Fran to bow and arrow. She can't move. I don't know. Maybe I'm playing this totally wrong. And I could switch her out for um, anybody else at this point. But but look at <laughs> look at all those things flashing by. <laughs> she missed on herself. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Asuna obviously isn't working. Yeah. 
But when both of you don't know what everyone like when both of you died, he lost his uh the bad, but he did not. Yeah. We're just whittling away at it. I am we're going through MP really really fast. Oh, I was so close. Everybody died, though. But the health bar got pretty low, and I just... I think I need to come in with a slightly different squad. Maybe bring in Bosch and both of you? Ugh, dang it. That was pretty good, though. Like, I was like... Uh, but towards the end, I was like... I think the big issue here, too, is that, um... What was her name? Nello kept running out of MP like halfway through the fight and that was that was rough. I do have a terrible fear that I'm gonna be Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Okay, this time I've gone in with both the year bash Pinello. I have shell protect on all of us. And I did the sages. Bangle or something that makes everything half MP cost for Pinello. So we'll see, because I feel like I was close, right? Like, I feel like I don't really need to go run around leveling up. Like, I was so close to winning. And I've also given Pinello a crossbow instead of a staff, because it does a little more damage and it keeps her a little further away from the fight if she would actually stay away from the fight, so. Oh, slow works on it. Earlier I was trying to use like silence and that wasn't working, but slow works. That's good. <laughs> it, I feel like it's following <laughs> for now. I'm trying to get her to first stay further away. I don't know what she did that made it angry, but uh, she definitely made it angry. It's just following her, why? Like, I, I would think it would go after the heavier armor targets, but it wasn't this bad last time, I see, at least I think it wasn't. I'm just trying to keep my ranged people out of the out of the way, you know? I'm trying at least a little bit to not have her use so much. At this point, I am just, we are so close, and I am I'm just spamming health at this point uh, with both Ash, like, well, I'm just like slamming everybody's health potions down, honestly. And just like letting them get a hit whenever they can. <laughs> That's Oh my gosh, if this isn't the end, I'm gonna scream. Oh, this is probably like the least graceful way <laughs> to play Final Fantasy XIV. My neck hurts. My neck hurts. I've been doing this battle for like 25 minutes. And I ended up with a squad sort of kind of different from the one I went in with. <laughs> Ash gets to level up, I guess. <laughs> Bosh was already level 31. I was trying to get uh, Fran and both of Europe up, because I think they're at 30 right now. Poor Vaughn, I don't care about Vaughn. He's at 25. He's just cannon fodder when he comes in. Yeah, and how to get rid of Doom, I have no idea. That is not one I've heard of, and Asuna didn't work. 
which I got Asuna because it's supposed to be the thing to cure. Or no, it was like it was supposed to. There was something that I was like having issues with that it does cure. Remove harmful status effects. Let's see. Maybe not in the stress of a fight. Yeah, she's missed Asuna on herself. I don't understand. I'll look it up, but. Let's see, I wanted to see. Yeah, level 29. I guess Ash did need the leveling up, so. Oh, look at that! The character is doomed and will be KO'd when the count reaches zero. Oh, so there's like a countdown associated with it. I was like, well, yeah, you KO when your health goes down to zero, but no, when you. KO when the count ranges zero. Remove with the remedy requires the proper license, though. Uh, who does who does I have license? Somebody has licenses. It might actually be. I don't know who's got it. Several people, I think, have the license that lets that. Uh, let let's remedy be like a cure all of sorts. Let's see. No, oh, that didn't work for you. I don't want to like go through and look. Maybe, oof. eh? I probably should. Uh, but I won't make you guys look at that. I'm just gonna go through and look up who's got what and what remedies can get. Who's got the license for the remedy that can get rid of doom? <laughs> Man, that would make a lot of money nowadays, huh? <laughs> but anyway. I think I'm gonna go here. I'm not sure what all has happened in this episode. I feel like the editing for Final Fantasy episodes are gonna be weird because I'm basically gonna cut out most of the running around. So episodes, I'm not really sure how they're gonna work out. If they're gonna be super short and not much happens or what. <laughs> or if I just slam a bunch of them together and three hours becomes a 30 minute episode. So <laughs> we'll see. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Ruiz Kalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support, my friend. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who's gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I just really, really, really do appreciate it a lot. Thank you so, so much for all of that. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.